In this video, we'll be talking about the moment generating function. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. We are given the standard normal distribution, which is our PDF, and we are asked to show that the PDF is valid and also find the expectation and the variance. Solution. You need to subscribe to this channel to get more on this. Solution A. We should recall that for moment generating function for the continuous case, we have that the moment generating function is equal to the exponential Tx and the integral of Etx multiplied by f of x dx. So we are using this, the integral part, because it is a continuous case. So we have the moment generating function to be the integral from negative infinity to infinity etx multiplied by f of x dx. So this is what we'll be using. The next thing to do is to substitute the PDF into the moment generating function. This function f of x is same thing as this. So we substitute this PDF into this. We get our moment generating function to be equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity etx will bring this normal distribution 1 all over square root of 2 pi e the exponential x squared all over 2 dx so this is what we have we can rearrange this to write it as 1 all over square root of 2 pi to be e tx multiplied by e x squared raised to the power of 2 dx. So this is what we have. This same thing is equal to our moment generating function will be from here we put this together to get 1 all over square root of 2 pi integral from negative infinity to infinity. We combine this to get x squared all over 2 minus dx dx. The same thing as 1 all over square root of 2 pi integral from negative infinity to infinity we get e we can open this bracket something is also common we can open this bracket to give us 1 all over 2 x squared minus 3x dx so this is what we we'll get from here we should know that from quadratic From quadratic equation, we know that a squared minus 2ab is equal to a minus b squared minus b squared. It then means that from here, if we have x squared minus Tx. We can write it as x minus t all squared minus t squared. So we carry the whole of this. We shall use the whole of this and put here and replace it with this to give us our moment derivative function to be 1 all over square root of 2 pi integral. exponential 1 all over 2 
the whole of this x minus t and t square dx. So we can still combine this to give us 1 all over square root of 2 negative infinity to infinity to give us exponent 1 all over 2 x minus t squared and exponent because of this negative sign if we multiply it with this we get t squared all over 2 dx so we can as well write our moment derivative function to be 1 all over square root of 2 pi we bring this over to this side exponential t squared all over 2 negative infinity to infinity we'll be having just this negative 1 over 2 x minus 3 squared dx so we come over to this place So from here, we have a moment generating function to be this. It then means that from this point, we will now do something. So interchanging this function using change by variable techniques and of integration, we can say let w be equal to x plus sorry let w be equal to x minus t so it implies that dw is equal to dx more so dw all over dx is equal to 1 minus 0 because if you differentiate this to get 1 you differentiate this to get 0 so we can put the whole of this into this meaning our moment generating function to be equal to 1 all over square root of 2 pi exponential t squared all over 2 into exponential w Squared all over 2 because the whole of this is doubling the w. So, which also means that our moment generating function is equal to one all over square root of two pi e w squared all over t the w what does it show the one of this is equal to one it then means that the moment generating function is equal to e exponent raised to the power t squared all over two times one therefore our moment generating function is equal to exponential t squared all over 2. So, this is our moment generating function for the continuous case. We have shown that the distribution is valid. The next thing to show, the next thing to show is to find the expectation and the variance if we find the expectation and the variance
So this harmonic generating function to obtain the expectation solution B, we need to subscribe to this channel. To obtain the expectation, we should note there are some things we should note. We are asked to find the expectation and the variance. If we have our moment generating function to do this is equal to e t squared all over two. Then for the first moment, for the first moment, that is f the first differential, which is equal to the expected value of x, is equal to we will now differentiate this using function of a function. That means you have something like the y all over the t is equal to the y all over the u multiplied by the u all over the t. So we now ask ourselves, let we say let u be equal to t squared all over 2. It then means that and y, sorry, to the e exponential raised to the power of u. So the u all over the t is equal to 2t all over 2, 2 minus 1, which is equal to t. More so, the y all over the u is equal to the same thing, exponential raised to the power of u. Therefore, the y all over the t, the y all over the t is equal to the y all over the u, the y all over the u, exponential raised to the power of u times the u all over the t, which is t times t. We know that our u is equal to t raised to the power of 2 all over 2. It then means that the y all over the t is the y all over the t, the y all over the t is equal to exponential t squared all over 2 times t, which we can write as t exponential t squared all over 2. Also, at t equal to 0, we have the moment generating function, if this is equal to 0, which is our expected value of x, to be 0 multiplied by the exponential 0 squared all over t, which is equal to 0. So, our first moment is equal to zero. Our first moment is equal to zero. We now go to the second moment. The second moment is equal to the expected value of x squared, which is equal to now. Since this is our first moment, we have to differentiate this using what is called the product rule. That is, v the u all over the t plus u the v all over the t. And we have it as, we have this as our u, this as our t. That means t, t squared all over t. So we take this as u and we take this as v. Before we can write the solution to this. So we we'll bring down v, v. This means the y all over the t, which is the expected value of x squared is equal to is equal to bring down v. V is exponential t squared all over t the u all over the t, the u all over the t is 1 plus 
u bring down u which is t the v all over the t if you differentiate this you get that same function which is t squared all over t so this is our answer we'll now put it here exponential t uh, all over 2 plus e t squared all over t so this is what we'll get this is what we'll get for our second moment now from this at t equal to 0 we have our moment generating function to be e 0 squared all over 2 plus zero multiplied by exponential raised to the power of two. So this will give us e raised to the power of zero. It then means that our second moment at t equal to zero, which is also the expected value of x squared is equal to one because anything raised to the power of zero is one. So we we'll have our first moment to be zero. We we'll have our second moment to be one. Now we now find the variance. We now find the variance. We now find the variance. We know that the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. We have our expected value of x squared, which is this, to be 1, minus the expected value of x, which is 0. All squared. It then means that our variance of x is equal to 1. So this is how we can obtain the expectation and the variance for the continuous space. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel.